Going to get a test here tonight. And as I've been saying all week, the best way to test for the World Series is in race conditions. And that's what they're going to have here tonight. Very close to the World Series. Probably expect around 20, 25 cars come this Friday to kick things off. First lap complete here for Brandon will be an 18.537, 18.537. And again, we'll take the fastest of the two laps. No dead lap here tonight, so they'll come around, take the green flag, and two laps on the clock. Brandon Turbush, our first qualifier, comes down to the checkered flag, and he picks up a little bit, 18.253. Turbush on top of the board for now, our second qualifier out on the speedway, runner-up in the Florida Sunbelt Series here at New Smyrna a year ago in the Kaufman Tack Marine sponsor, number 58, Michael Goddard. Michael Goddard out on the speedway now to Naples, Florida. Our second qualifier. Got his first new Smyrna win out here in the 37 car. Then hop behind the wheel this 58 for Kaufman Motorsports. And gave it some of its best runs. And the first lap for Michael Goddard is a 17.995. 17.995. Timing and scoring up on race monitor if you have that on your phone, if you'd like to follow along. So a 17.995 as it didn't pop up on the scoreboard, but is on a race monitor. So Goddard to the top of the board and goes a little bit faster on lap number two, 17.893 for Michael Goddard. Puts him on top of the board for now. Our next qualifier gonna be car number zero for Ryan Walters. The Niagara Concrete Ingram Motorsports machine. This team was not out here yesterday for practice and it might've been to their benefit. We had. A number of teams suffer some issues in the Super Late Model ranks. Three cars actually were lost last night. Ryan Walters made the trip over here this afternoon and make his Super Late Model debut here tonight. The first lap for Walters is a 19.296. A little bit of work to do here for car number zero. Ryan, a former competitor in the open wheel modified ranks. He'll race about anything. Give him the keys, he'll go racing. And again, making the Super Late debut tonight. And he picks up to 18.827, 18.827 for Ryan Walters. Again, the scoreboard is not picking up the times. Race monitor is as our next qualifier takes the green. This is the 21K machine for Auburndale, Florida's Derek Kelly. The Derek Kelly racing machine, former World Series champion in the limited late model ranks back in the mid 90s. Good to see Kelly here in car number 21. One of the couple of surprises that we had out here last night. And Kelly clocks in with a 19.119 there on lap number one. So he'll look for more on this second lap. Good to see the veteran racer back behind the wheel and here on the high banks in New Smyrna. Car number 21, Derek Kelly coming off turn number four. Let's see if he picks up here on lap number two. And an 18.851, 18.851. Kelly's going to be fourth out of the four qualifiers, chasing Michael Goddard right now, but here comes one of our veteran racers in the Briar team, Omnia Construction Ride. This is car number 27 for Lake Mary, Florida's Bobby Good. Bobby Good, multiple-time winner out here on the high banks of New Smyrna. Getting things wound up and ready for the World Series where he'll make a handful of appearances over the nine outs of action. First lap complete for the 27 of Bobby Good. He clocks in at 18.312, 18.312. Third quick on lap one for Bobby Good. Fast time right now is a 17.893, 17.893. Good, a little bit loose coming off the corner. Loose is fast. Let's see where he clocks in. Second quick for Bobby Good at an 18.005 second lap. Michael Goddard still quickest, only car in the 17 second bracket as our next qualifier. Local veteran racer in car number 39, Morgan Hoover out on the speedway. Good to see Morgan here. A sharp new look on car number 39. Used to seeing him in a pretty much all black race car, but black and white trim on car number 39 this year. Looking good. Here comes the veteran to the white flag, Morgan Hoover. We'll get you that lap time in a second. His race monitor just reset as well. 19.207, 19.207 there for Morgan Hoover on that qualifying lap. Looking to pick up some more speed here on lap number two. And Hoover's gonna clock in 18.87 there for Hoover.
next out to qualify, defending Florida Sunbelt Series champion. It's the RK Edwards Incorporated Bobby Sears Racing number nine for Brad May out of Oviedo, Florida. Brad looking for another red eye win here tonight. Here comes Brad May to the white flag. Looks like an 18.108 there for Brad May on lap number one. Brad May looking to pick up here on lap number two. Brad May to the checkers. And Brad May with an 18.043 second lap. Next out to qualify will be car number 73 for Bobby Gordon. Bobby Gordon out of Cocoa, Florida in the Cocoa Beach Auto Repair number 73 machine. Very sharp looking race car. Bobby getting back in the super late model racing here last year for the Sun Belt Series. And he clocks in. We'll get to that time here in a moment. As things reset on me here once again. It's a 19.035 for Gordon on lap number one. And there it is up on the scoreboard too. So getting things reset for you, we apologize. Checkered flag for Bobby Gordon, 18.721. Good lap for Bobby, jumps up into the top five with that run. The scorers are getting things reset, appreciate their work up here as well. As our next qualifier, gonna be one to watch here tonight in the Super Late Model Race. This is car number 21, the Cook Electric Machine for Jeff Chiquette. Jeff Chiquette, back behind the wheel of a Super Late Model here at New Smyrna. Many times a winner out here. And you're going to look to be one of the contenders here tonight. Let's see where he clocks in on lap number one. An 18.237. Not quite what he was looking for, but fourth fastest on lap one. Just behind Brad May. Everybody still chasing the 58 of Michael Goddard. Now here comes one of the Jet Motorsports prepared machines. Jeff Chiquette down to the line. Nicely done. 17.946. Second fastest for Jeff Chiquette. Still behind Michael Goddard's number 58. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Just a couple cars left to go on track now. Car number 23. This is Billy Van Meter out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Another driver who will look for a nice strong World Series here in a couple of days. Van Meter on track, looking for some track time. An 18.275 there on lap number one. Van Meter in the Maston Kane Warehousing Circle City Raceway sponsored ride. Get used to seeing this car here for the World Series. So I believe they plan to run every night if things go well. Checkered flag is set to come out for Van Meter. And a nice pickup there. We'll put him fourth on the scoreboard, 18.022 seconds. Everybody's still chasing Michael Goddard in car number 58. Jeff Chiquette is second, and it's Bobby Good, Billy Van Meter, and Brad May. Next on track, Connor Sutton, car number 54 to Pensacola, Florida. Fresh off a top 10 finish here in the Florida Governor's Cup. Connor Sutton, outlaw champion, I believe, over there at the Five Flags Speedway. Now hopping up in the late model ranks. An 18.701 on lap number one. So looking for a little bit more here on lap number two. Seventeen eight eight three. I'm sorry, eight nine three. the time to beat. Connor Sutton looking to pick up on lap number two. Picks up nicely with an 18.112 second lap. Pretty good there for Connor Sutton. Unofficially in the sixth position right behind Brad Mays. Looks like we have two drivers left to go. Did have a couple of cars. Carson Quapel had an incident late in practice last night. Chad Rutherford also here, not going to compete tonight. Tony Elrod also loaded up and went home. We were hoping to have those names on the grid for you here tonight. But it did not work out that way. Chris McIntyre will be our next qualifier in the 82 out of Miami, making his first start out here on the high banks. This is the Generator Services sponsored ride. Chris McIntyre, big winner during one of the big memorial races. He won the non qualifiers race down there, took home a nice payday, which has helped this team continue on. And 19 to 506 on lap number one. Chris McIntyre, a true rookie out here at New Smyrna, learning the ropes here this weekend, getting some track time. Still searching for the speed, but glad to have them with us, making a long trip up north. Checkered flag and a nice pickup there, 18.894 for McIntyre in the 82, and that's what you want to see, a pickup there on lap number two. 
As we are down to our final qualifier in the David Rogers Super Late Model Division, the Mobile One Sponsor Machine, number 24 for Brent Cruz out of Denver, North Carolina. This is one of your Donnie Wilson racing machines. Donnie Wilson with a whole host of cars coming down here for the World Series. They did have a pro late entered into today's competition, but that has unfortunately been scratched for the evening after a wreck in practice. A 17925. How about that for Brent Cruz? I believe that's second fastest. It is second fastest for Brent Cruz in the 24. This driver moving up from Pro Lates a year ago to the Super Late Model ranks. Here for track time tonight and looking stout. Let's see if we can go to the pole. Brent Cruz, our final qualifier to the line. 17.754. Brent Cruz to the top of the board, saving the fastest to last. And Brent Cruz to the top of the board, just ahead of Michael Goddard's number 58. Jeff Shaquette unofficially third, then Bobby Good and Billy Van Meter. An interesting top five here in qualifying today. With Super Late Model qualifying's in the books. We'll switch gears here and get ready for Pro Late Model qualifying up next as the last couple of Pro Lates working their way through technical inspection as we speak. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now.